My writing process always starts with a character and usually I'll get a thought of a character or an idea of a character in my head. So in Hello Universe, I had an image of a little boy named Virgil who was very uh, quiet and shy and sensitive. And I knew it was important to me to write a, a boy character who has those traits because we're seeing a lot more very uh, vocal and present girl characters, which is important. But it's also important on the flip side to see sensitive boys. So he kind of came to me uh, fully formed and I'll usually see the character in a situation and I'll start wondering why are they in that situation? What got them there? And in Virgil's case, I saw this boy who was uh, trapped in a dark place and he's calling for help. And then there is a, a girl who is above ground and she's not helping him. So then I have to say, why isn't she helping him? She seems perfectly nice. And uh, then I realize it's because she can't hear him. And that's how Valencia came to be and everything grows out from there. And then once I feel like I have kind of like a three dimensional idea, I spend a lot of time in my head thinking about it before I ever write it down. And once I feel like I have that idea, I get a notebook um, and I write it down and put pen to paper and it kind of builds out from there. I'll do a summary and then I'll do a synopsis and then I'll do a very fluid chapter outline that I follow and then I'll just, you know, start writing. Um, so I usually have a road map, but sometimes it changes, but that's my process. I also do a lot of doodling and, you know, I'll use different colored pens. I feel like it's important for me. I, I feel strongly about writing longhand because I feel like the more tactile senses are involved, uh, kind of the more invested you are. So I'll use different color pens. So I have the tactile, but I have the visual. I have the smell of the notebook and the smell of the ink. And um, I love the whole, that whole process. And then once that's done, I sit down and that's whenever I, I type it up in a Word doc and then send it off to my editor. And then that starts the editorial process.